Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, in this video, I am going to talk to you about items I sold on Poshmark, but I'm not doing clothing. Um, I find that my Poshmark videos get less views, and I think it's because I show my clothes. And quite frankly, I don't think most of my viewers care too much about clothes. So this video is non clothing items. I think there's one clothing item, but it's just because it's like a specific. You'll see. Anyway, but the rest are like hard goods, jewelry, um, toys, yeah, things other than clothes. So let's get started. I'm going to show you my Poshmark Bolo items. These items sold faster on Poshmark. They were cross posted to eBay and Mercari and sold faster on Poshmark. So let's get started. Um, I use List Perfectly to cross post. So what I do is I put my items on eBay first. And then I cross post them to Poshmark and Mercari. If you're interested in trying List Perfectly, I do have a coupon code. It's an affiliate coupon code for 30% off. And it's Bolo Buddies. So when you sign up for List Perfectly, if you put Bolo Buddies in the coupon code, you will get 30% off your first month. And I highly recommend it. If you want to see how it works, I've got several videos that show you like a demonstration or a demo of how to list perfectly. So definitely go check that out. And Lego, Lego friends. And I've got a Lego story. I bought all of these Legos and I ended up like counting pieces and I'm not even going to tell you how long it took me. It was a nightmare and I don't think I will ever do it again, but I have some big money bolos from that lot in my eBay video. But these are two of the smaller lots and I can't remember I, yeah, I think I counted these two. Not counted, but if you go to the back of the book, which I didn't know you could do, and it tells you the pieces, <laughs> the first set I actually built and took pictures of it because I didn't know until I got to the end of building it that all of the pieces were in the back. Anyhow, lesson learned. But hey, I had a good time building it, but I could not, no way, build those thousand piece Lego sets or 600, however many pieces there are. So I did sell these and somebody bought these together for a total of $50. Poshmark took 10 and my earnings on it were 40. Um, the next item I sold was this Folkmanis. Um, it's a puppet and I always pick up Folkmanis. I love selling it. It does pretty well. It has a pretty good following. Some of it's bread and butter, some of it's bigger money bolos. This one sold for $23 and I probably picked it up for a buck or two. These I have had forever, full disclosure. I was waiting on the right buyer. I had them priced like really high in the beginning. I just thought they were fantastic, but they weren't moving. And I ended up taking an offer of $50 on these. I picked them up at a garage sale, super cheap, but I just thought they were really special and I was holding out. And yeah, so I took a best offer of 50. I want to say I paid two or three dollars for the set. The next item are these awesome pink star earrings. Um, I think I got these at a garage sale or they were a part of my bulk buy. But again, I don't have much in jewelry. I usually buy it in bulk and I sold these for $10. I just wanted to share them because I thought they were super cool. Another Boyd's Frog. This one sold for $17. I picked these up in bulk at a garage sale. Tons of them. I still have uh, not many left. I'm, I would say I have less than 10 left, but, uh, this one sold for 17. I think I have, gosh, I can't remember. It's like 25 cents or 30 cents, something like that in each one. The next item I have been buying Legos and I am lotting them up like this on, um, Poshmark and I'm keeping them around two pounds. This sold for $25 and these were Lego brand. This came from my I Got It Free Garage sale and this is a Bermuda purse handbag with a wood handle and um, it's super cute. It's got the two coverings on it and I sold this for $40 and got it free. So that is awesome. And if you guys have not seen that video, I got all of this stuff free at a garage sale. You got to go watch the video. The next item is this clown children's costume. It's vintage, it's handmade. 
I picked this up for a dollar or two at a garage sale and I have another one listed and it's got some condition issues. It's not mint, but it's really, really cool. I picked these up at a garage sale. I think I've got about $3 in the pair and I sold these for $40. It's the Disney store exclusive Chip and Dale plush and they're about 10 inches tall. These are a vintage wood trinket hinged box horse decoration. I picked these up at a garage sale for a couple bucks. Um, the head on the small one did come off and I had to glue it back on, which was no big deal. Uh, but they open up. They're really, really cool. Um, let me see if I can get you a picture. And they open up like that. So I sold those for $47. And I picked those up at a garage sale, I, like I said, I think for a couple bucks. Wait, I think that was a garage sale find. Now I'm second guessing myself. You know what? I'm not 100% sure on that one. Huh. I'm usually really good at remembering stuff like that. But it was probably 2 or $3 because that's usually what I pay for stuff like this. This is just a Christmas ornaments vintage lot. It's got some door hangers. Uh, sometimes I just lot things up and will sell them in little lots like this. I sold this for $15. And of course, on Poshmark, the buyer pays the shipping. This was from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. This is just a butterfly necklace, interchangeable um, little charms that you can put on it. And I sold this for $23. This is a Shopkins lot that I picked up at a garage sale. And I did take the time to, you know, kind of display them. I sold both of these for $49. So Posh took $8.82. So my earnings was $35.28. Probably had less than $5 in the set and in both sets. It was a bulk buy. I bought like everything at the garage sale, all the toys. Uh, this is a Radco glass dog ornament. I believe this was, um, it's in my garage sale haul video. It was either three or $5. Um, I will pay up a little bit for Radco because I I know that it sells and I sold this for $40 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Thomas the Train and Friends. I always pick up these cases and these little trains. If I see them at garage sales, I'll wait until I have enough to fill the um, container or I'll just sell them in small lots. I sold this for $30 and I probably had five bucks or less in it. This Toy Story Mattel walking, talking action figure. I think I paid a buck or two for him at a garage sale. He sold really fast and he sold for $19. These Leapster games, I sold these for $25. There's six of them here. This was another big bulk buy at a garage sale. I bought a whole tote full of Leapfrog Leapster items. The next item, scrapbooking um they're like little scrapbooking sets like one is for birthday one is for friends one says thanks and these were a bulk buy from a garage sale they did take a while to sell i'm gonna have to admit that but i sold them for twenty dollars and um yeah the buyer paid shipping so definitely great margins and small i threw it in a tote it just sat until the right buyer came along this guy this Jimmy animated, ab I always say it wrong, abominable, <laughs> abominable, abominable snowman. It's kind of like aluminum. I really have to think about it, say it. Um, this guy sold for a hundred dollars. Yes, one hundred dollars, this guy. And I picked him up at a garage sale. I bought the whole table of Christmas items. I can't remember what I paid for everything but it was a really good deal. Um, it might, I think I have a haul video on it. So if you want to go watch that, you can find out exactly what I paid because when I did the video, obviously I remembered what I paid, but I can't remember now, but I'm going to say five bucks or less. This is from when I used to sell Avon and I found these in a box because I bought a bunch of them because my sister and I loved them. And then I quit wearing makeup. Um, like bronzers and blush and you know I never really wore a lot of that but this is just like it gives you like it makes you look tan and you shake it it's really really cool and I sold this for $18 in the buyer paid shipping 
Puppy Surprise. This is the Dalmatian Gigi. I sold her for $24. And this was a thrift store find, and I think I paid $3 for it. Here is a one gallon mystery bag of small building blocks. These are not Legos. These are like mega blocks and other miscellaneous blocks that all work together. And these are girl colors. And I sold this for $20. This is a Hasbro Jurassic Park Jurassic World dinosaur. His name is Chomp. And he sold for $19 and he sold pretty quick. So uh, I picked this up at a garage sale for a buck or two. These mirrors came from a um, thrift store and I bought, I think there were eight of them in a bag. And I want to say I paid like $8 for all of them. And I sold the four of them for $85. Poshmark took 17 and my earnings was 68. So I thought about selling them all together I was going to piece them out and that was definitely the right thing to do. I sold some more frogs. Um, I sold all three of these frogs for $64. However, this one I had sold already on another platform and I forgot to take it down. So I messaged them and told them to pick out two more. So I ended up giving them one free because I made a mistake. And so they ended up getting four frogs for $64. Posh took $11.52, so my earnings was $46.08, and again, I had about probably $0.25 to $0.30 cents in each one. This Blaze in the Monster Machine truck, um, I sold this for $15, and this guy is Crusher. Uh, I sold this Disney Pixar Toy Story. I believe I picked this up retail arbitrage at Bargain Hunt for like a buck. And I sold it for $10, so Posh took $2.95, so my earnings was $7.05. So, you know, still made like five or six bucks on this. The next item is a um, retail arbitrage dollar store. So I got these at the dollar store for a dollar each. So I've got about $2 in tax, whatever that is, in this. Uh, they paid $13 for both. 295 posh took so my earnings was 1005 minus the two something so you know still pretty good margins for um a dollar store flip the next item is the shopkins neon mystery edition um toys i got this at a garage sale again i bought all of the toys so i got a really good deal on it probably have a couple bucks in it and i sold this for 30 dollars and the buyer paid shipping universal studios the Secret Life of Pets. I cannot remember where I got this. I'm guessing at a garage sale. And I sold these guys for 20 bucks. These puppets. Oh, gosh. I can't remember where I got them either. Uh, I'm going to say probably a garage sale for a buck or two. And I sold these for $20. I think those were a garage sale. And $20 is what I sold them for. They're super cute. This costume. I always pick up costumes at. Um, garage sales some of them do well some of them don't they're usually bread and butter i sold this for 15 dollars. this came from my i bought it on ebay to sell on ebay bulk buy 344 pound lot and if you want to check out that video you can see everything i got um i weigh it and when i pick it up it's 344 pounds of jewelry uh this one sold for 18 dollars, and the buyer paid shipping the next item, I bought this from a Support That Seller Sunday in Dominic Crone's uh, Facebook group. It's called the Reselling Resource Center. Go check it out if you haven't already. He features somebody every Sunday and everybody in the group that wants to participate buys from that person. It's awesome. Um, I just was picked recently and I sold over $700 in one day just from people from the group. So definitely go get involved in that. This I bought from a seller that was featured and I try to buy things whenever I can. And a lot of times I will buy things that I can resell. And if I can break even, I'm happy because I'm helping somebody else and then you know I'm making my money back. So this was a purchase from that. And then I sold these for $13 on Poshmark and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Gucci men's tie. I picked this up at a thrift store. Um, 
it was a whole bunch of ties, so I'm not exactly sure how much I had in it. I'm going to say less than a buck. And it sold for $65 plus shipping. This is the shirt that I was telling you about. I picked it up at a garage sale. I think it was 2 or $3. And Disney Store Hawaiian shirts, grab them if you see them. I sold this for $38. This Flyhawk came from a garage sale. I think it was like a buck and I sold it for $15. It was a long tail item. So I was happy that it sold. But again, just a, you know, it doesn't take up much space and I just wait for the right buyer. This I picked up at a garage sale and I was super excited because I thought my glasses were going to fit in it. But this was actually a slim eyeglass case. So I picked it up for a buck at a garage sale, threw it back on um, Poshmark for, and sold it for $16. This Norco uh, compression glove I picked up at a thrift store for a buck and I sold it for $13 in the buyer paid shipping. These I picked up at a thrift store. I want to say they were half off. So I think I got them for around $3.50. They are a 11 wide. That's why I picked them up and they were brand new. And they're not like a name brand or anything, but they're just kind of casual and cute. So I thought I would try it and I sold them for $22. These I picked up at a thrift store for $5. They're vintage Linux holiday dimension for glasses. And this is the second one that I've sold. I, am, I bought two of them the same day. Can't remember what the other one sold for, but this one sold for $40 in the buyer paid shipping. These willow tree, I always pick up willow tree. This is the our gift. And this one is the angel of freedom and the angel of healing. And somebody bundled these for $35. Posh took seven. So my profits were $28. This guy I picked up at a garage sale for a buck. And these I got, I believe, at a thrift store. And I think they were half off. So I think I got them for $3. And they bundled the two items for 75 and Posh took 15 So my earnings on this were 60 It did weigh over five pounds. So I did have to pay $3.99 to um, upgrade my shipping label to a six pound package. So still pretty good earnings. And this Boyd's Bear Noah, the big boat, um, long tail item for sure. But I bought a bunch of these at a garage sale, it was like a bundle price. So I probably have a couple bucks in it. And I sold this for $35 and the buyer paid shipping. Those are my posh mark bolos um, items that are not clothing that I sold on Poshmark for, I feel really great margins. Um, there were some big money bolos in there that I was pretty happy with. And I'll try to remember to pull it up right now. So it should be popping up on the screen and you can just click on it. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here and I'll see you at the next video.